There you go. All right, come on around over here. <coughs> here is where you did some wicker repair? Yeah, yeah. We're down here at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids. 616-453-8309. Find us on the web at www.timelessartgr.com. <coughs> Obviously, we're in Grand Rapids. But today, we're talking about a little wicker repair. I got these chairs in last week. And it was kind of broken up in through here. Um, so I've been uh, doing a little repair in here. And I'm actually working on the arms first. Can you show these arms, Sandy? Mm -hmm. The arms were pretty bad. Well, how did you repair them? What did you use? Uh, I got a little bit, of, a little bit of stuff right here that I've got from uh, Hobby, Hobby Lobby. It's uh, what a woman would use to uh, make her fake flowers, vines, and so on. It works good. It's uh, got metal inside, um, so you can kind of get it up in there and weave it. And so it, what I did is I, this one was pretty bad, and you can see it looks a little ugly in here yet. But what's going to happen is it's got a lot of thick paint on there and I'm going to kind of come in here and lightly sand this and form it and play with this area here until it takes enough paint to where it looks good. Um, come on, pan around here. Same thing on this one here. I'm concentrating on the arms right now. This one had some ugly areas over in here too. It was broken up pretty bad. Um, you see this one's starting to look pretty good right here. Um, and as I get more paint that actually absorbs into that um, little uh, ropey type material, it will uh, start to harden up and look a lot nicer than what it was than what it does at this point. Here is a sofa over here. <laughs> you see the arms over here? Can you see them? Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm just concentrating on the, on the arms at this point. Here's the other arm. I just wanted to show them the whole sofa. Yeah, okay. And uh, okay. once I get these arms and everything to where I like it, I put a bunch of this material here. It was down around the feet. So I'm just kind of spotting in them areas first with paint. Um, after that, I'm going to take a wire brush, um, a bristle brush, not really a wire brush, a bristle brush with some naphtha and kind of scrub the whole piece down I uh, will sand the piece first with some, uh, oh, some 220 paper to knock any chips off it. Then I'll take the bristle brush with some naphtha and go through everything. And then after I'm all done with that, I will finish painting the chairs. But first off, it was repaired on the arms. And I'm going to get as much paint sucked up into this material right here as I possibly can um, before I start to spray on this. Now... Actually, this material here, you're probably thinking, why are you using that? Well, I've seen this on wicker chairs. There's some other wicker chairs in the shop that have this on it. But not only that, this back in here is actually an extension cord that's been weaved around a rubber cord. Um, see it back in here, too? So, uh, I noticed that as I was working on the piece. So... Okay, there's that one. So, you want to talk about the red chair? Yeah, well, why don't we hit that, hit that video off. 